when I received my ignition lock cylinder. Um, so as you know, uh, as I told you in previous videos, I used to start my car with a screwdriver because my ignition lock cylinder started sticking and the key that I used to have, and I still have it, was pretty worn out and rounded off and not good. So I went to the dealership, I actually got brand, two brand new keys, uh, that, which was like $57. Uh, it was a great deal. Um, and uh, this is one of them, okay right here it's literally genuine actually it came in after like in like four or three days it was really fast uh, so they got me a new key uh, this is the old key right here I don't know if you can see but it was pretty pretty worn out I still have it and uh, so and then there's another key that I have that I it's also brand new okay so I have two brand new keys and this one old key so three keys right uh, so once I got those also once I got those two new keys uh, I realized that that didn't help actually I tried it with the you know I tried the new key uh, with the old cylinder and actually it wasn't moving you know like the doors were working and everything but the ignition lock cylinder was still sticky so I ordered a brand new ignition lock cylinder which is right here um, it's pretty amazing okay it's all genuine all right mercedes-benz i'll give you part numbers later on but it literally came in in like five days they cut it for me it has a mercedes logo it's really nice and what's crazy is that it came with another extra key which i didn't realize i thought it was just gonna be like one cylinder that's it so right now i have basically three new keys and one old key to this car so it means pretty amazing you know and uh this assembly at the dealership was like 95 dollars so it's a pretty good deal i mean I spent like 150 bucks probably in total for uh, three brand new keys and one brand new ignition lock cylinder. So right now I'm gonna be installing this one into the car and hopefully that's it. Hopefully we don't have to, you know, worry about starting the car with a screwdriver anymore. Uh, you know, I'm pretty excited and I already tested this. This works, this ignition lock cylinder works with the rest of the keys. So that's pretty amazing, okay? Everything was cut correctly. I'm really, and I'm really happy that, you know, previous owners didn't replace you know ignition lock or like the door locks uh, with some you know some other door locks from different model or different car you know so that's pretty amazing anyways let's go ahead and install this bad boy so here's the uh, ignition lock cylinder and a key there's a part number for it but like i said if you need uh, a new ignition lock cylinder or a new key cut for your car you have to go to the dealership give them your new your uh you know documents and registration and stuff like that and uh obviously your id and uh, you also have to give them your uh, vin number uh, so they know uh what vin number to cut the key and ignition lock cylinder too so anyways this is the cylinder lock key uh, uh the cylinder ignition cylinder and the key i mean it's pr it's pretty amazing i'm really excited to install this final so we don't have to use the screwdriver to start but before doing that i have to soak this in atf so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna soak this in atf and i'm gonna put some lube in there as well clean that thing up and put some lube in there and then we're gonna install this bad boy back up pretty exciting guys this is how it looks it has mercedes star all brand new and uh, here I show you how it turns okay really amazing I'm gonna use atf to soak the cylinder and then we're gonna install it in a while all right so while the ignition lock cylinder is drying or it's actually soaking <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clean this area uh, what i have is i have a clean lint-free paper towel i can use like clean lint-free rag or something and just go in there and carefully clean all that area up nicely okay and then after you're done uh cleaning i already cleaned this pretty well uh i'm gonna spray atf in there spray atf inside all right soak this baby really good all right you can wipe off the excess right there carefully all right and then 
we're just gonna add some grease on top good stuff so now grab clean a uh, brush and grab some grease and then we're gonna put that thing in there let's see like so you don't need to put a lot just kind of you know smear some around and good stuff okay so here's my barrel assembly ignition lock cylinder and the key and the key is turned to the second position so there are two slots that have to line up actually and uh, you will need like a paper clip or something for this all right to install it properly uh, and that paper clip is actually gonna push there's like a spring on that ignition lock cylinder so let me grab a, an old cylinder and show you so here's the old ignition lock cylinder and uh it's actually exactly the same cylinder like that one it's amazing uh so as you can see this is in uh, zero position basically so you have to you would have to turn the key uh, where it lines up where this slot lines up with this slot right here when it lines up you can install your paper clip and with a paper clip you're going to be pushing down on this spring so you're going to push this down and once you push this down that will allow you to uh you know click this uh, cylinder into the ignition lock assembly right there so that's what i'm talking about that's why you have to have the ignition uh, uh you have to have this thing in the second position basically so yeah that's it and this like i said this was a uh, this was a bad uh cylinder uh this wasn't working anymore so yeah uh this is worn out so i'm installing a new one right now So here's the paper clip in the slot and that paper clip is going to be pushing on that spring as you're pushing on that spring that's how you install the cylinder so also note that uh this especially with this new ignition lock cylinder that spring might be really stiff so what you have to use is obviously you can get a special tool but you can also use like tiny screwdriver you can install a tiny small screwdriver in there and then that way you can push down on that spring uh, a little easier so if the paper clip doesn't work for you try the tiny screwdriver all right so when you kind of push it in it's still loose so then you can grab like a tiny screwdriver and once again align this thing and then you can send it in push that spring try to send it in it will take me a little bit so like I said you have to play around with it keep pressing on that spring until it pops in place one more important tip I forgot to tell you before you install your cylinder make sure that this corresponds to the cylinder so uh, since I was driving the screwdriver I need to turn this to the second position okay so this is in the second position right now and uh, that way I can actually align the ignition lock cylinder okay yeah so and my battery is off by the way I mean you don't really have to have your battery off but mine is just off that's why there's no lights on the dash or anything but yeah that's what you have to do you have to match this up and then you can install that really easy There you go, looks like it's clicked in. Did it? Maybe. Let's see. Maybe not all the way. Let's see. Let's 
so after this clicks in just uh, uh, move this black barrel clockwise and it's gonna pop in place all right and that's it uh, right now uh, I'll show you how this uh, you know works so okay key out in ignition on start so now I'll uh, uh, connect the battery and I'll show you how it starts up and stuff like that all right guys so I have three brand new keys right now and my old one right there and uh, I reconnected the battery let's go ahead try to start this engine up and make sure everything is working as it should all right I'm gonna start this thing in oh look at that we got lights on let's try to start this baby yay she started up great that's amazing we have three brand new keys one old key new ignition lock cylinder that's amazing i don't have to use my screwdriver anymore to uh, start this engine uh, it's amazing and right now let's go ahead and shut this thing off look at that great and all the keys work i already checked the rest of them i mean this one is working you know stuff like that so good stuff amazing so now and this actually this works on my doors as well uh so that's good stuff uh, i'm just really happy that my ignition lock cylinder is back and finally the last thing that we need to do is we need to install this decorative uh, trim around here so uh, this can look really nice so let's go ahead uh, and install that trim piece all right guys and this trim is super easy to install you just carefully push it in very careful just kind of like so and that's it ready to go all right i just want to give you a couple tips guys so as you can see i just installed a, a brand new ignition lock cylinder um and as, as you saw I, I was actually soaking it in atf so what you're supposed to do periodically maybe once a month or so as you come back you actually spray some atf inside the ignition lock cylinder and also it's a good idea to actually clean your key before actually ins insert it into the ignition lock that way you actually save everything and will actually last a very long time maybe another 100 years um because if you uh, every time if you have a, a dirty key and you insert it and it's just going to be uh kind of getting clogged up and inside of the um you know the cylinder itself so uh, make sure you have you install your key uh the way you should and uh you know make sure it's all clean before you insert it into the cylinder and you know just keep an eye on everything you know and give it some love uh spray some atf once in a while into that cylinder and this actually applies to the door lock cylinders trunk lock cylinder the same thing you know you have to you know spray some atf periodically or some other good lubricant you know so this actually stays and uh, lasts a long time um and doesn't wear out so keep that in mind uh but you know this car has 252 uh uh, 252,000 miles so uh, you know and it, it's crazy you know it lasted uh, you know 30 years the uh, you know I can't wait for the birthday of this baby Benz is actually coming up next February uh, February 2021 is gonna be uh, this baby is gonna be 30 years old so I'm gonna have to buy some flowers for her so <laughs> so exciting um, and then yeah so hopefully this video helps you guys i mean uh you know like i said uh, all the knowledge that i have i give to you guys and i try to make as many videos as possible so you guys can learn and we can together we can save these amazing classic cars you know because who else will take care of these amazing cars if not us you know that's why i'm talking to you guys because you know i believe in you and believe you have a good heart you know and that you save these cars as well instead of sending them you know to the scrapyard you know it makes me really sad when i see that so uh also like i said thank you so much for all your support guys it's really amazing all of you guys from europe africa asia you know south america you guys are amazing you know even even from North America for those of you who are supporting me you guys are awesome thank you so much together uh, like I said we're gonna be growing we're gonna be a family forever so 
Uh, thank you so much for all that. It's pretty exciting, you know. Who knows? Uh, my my big the biggest plan for me uh, right now, or actually in the near future, is I want to uh, actually gather up all of you guys together, and so we can actually uh, take a nice road trip together with all our classic cars to Alaska and back. I think that would be a really memorable trip. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I've already talked to a lot of people about it, and uh, pretty much every other person that I. Or pretty much everybody that I've talked to about this road trip uh, to Alaska, everybody was like really happy and excited and they wanted to go. So, uh, you know, and I'll obviously make another announcement and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, that's my kind of like uh, one of the future dreams as well as I want to go to Alaska in one of my classic Benzes uh, and back um, and also take you guys together, you know, so we can all drive. Imagine a hundred classic cars or, you know, it doesn't have to be classic Mercedes, you know, it can, it can be another like BMW or American car, you know, from like 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, it can be a new car. If you want to go together to Alaska trip, you can grab a new car. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's, we're all going to have fun, so yeah anyways this was kind of off topic but uh yeah like i said thank you so much guys for everything you guys are amazing and let's save classic cars together uh you know let's grow together and you know share this video with your friends you know let's let's all have fun and you know uh hopefully one day we're gonna all meet up together and we're gonna have fun so yeah thank you so much for supporting Vito's garage i'll see you in the next one and take care i'll see you in the next one